I'm grateful to the tramp for frightening the valley. Now we are alone at last. <laughs> Varya is afraid that we shall go and fall in love with each other. So she follows us about all day long. Her narrow mind won't allow her to understand that we are above love. That all we look for and long for in life is to get rid of the shallowness, the deceit, all these stupid qualities that prevent us from being free and happy. Hmm. Forward. We must advance with unshaken determination towards the bright star that is shining far, far before us. Forward! Don't lag behind, friends. Oh, what beautiful things you say. Oh, oh. It is glorious here today. Yes. It's wonderful weather. <laughs> what have you done to me, Petya? Why is it that I don't love the cherry orchard like I used to? I used to love it once, so tenderly. It seemed there was no better place on earth than our orchard. All Russia is our orchard. The earth is great and beautiful, and full of wonderful places. Think of it, Anya. Your grandfather and your great-grandfather and all your ancestors were landowners. They owned living souls. Cannot you see human beings staring at you in the cherry orchard from every leaf? from every branch. Can't you hear their voices? Oh, it's dreadful! Your orchard frightens me. When I walk through it in the evening or at night, the bark on the trees seems to glitter in the shadows. It seems as if the cherry trees were dreaming of all that has happened these two or three hundred years. They seem weighed down with all the sad memories of these times gone by. It's all so clear to me. Before we can live in the present, we must first redeem the past and have done with it. And that we can only do by suffering by unremitting toil. You must understand this, Anya. The house we live in hasn't really been ours for a long time. And I shall go away and leave it. I promise you. Leave it? Yes. And if you have the keys, Throw them into the well. Go right away. Be free as the wind. Oh, how beautifully you said that. You must believe me, Anya. You must. I'm not 30 yet. I'm young. I'm, I'm still a student. But I have suffered so much already. As soon as winter comes, I get half starved and ill and worried. I've no money. My, my luck has driven me from one place to another. All sorts of places here and there. Nowhere that I really feel I belong to. And yet, in spite of it all... I have a strange feeling that something wonderful will happen to me. All day long, I can feel it coming. Some strange happiness. Anya! I know it will. I can see it.
The moon is rising. Yes. The moon is rising. There it is. Happiness. There it comes. Nearer and nearer. I can almost hear its footsteps. And if we never see it, if we do not know it when it comes, what does it matter? Others will. Again, it really is too bad. Never I... mind. Let's go down to the river. It's lovely there. <laughs> 